this is fit check we're in all green fun fact sometimes or most of the time when you get an uber driver or a taxi driver yeah they have gloves and are all dressed up from to the tent it was cool you know that song that goes like do 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 no let's try again Hi my lilies and welcome back to my channel and here we're going on another Japan Diary series. This is day three, four, five, I don't know, lost count and we decided to go to this beautiful pancake place, a happy pancake and their food was delicious. This here was the milk and OMG best milk I've ever had. I think it was like banana milk. The pancakes were nice and fluffy and jiggly and you had it with like a salad, a little omelet with some salsa. It was a bit weird but it actually tasted good. From there we went on to animate Miami I believe. I don't know why I said Miami. I'm sorry. I'm in Miami so you know why I'm stuck in my head. But we went to anime and it was a very tall building. I think it was like seven floors or so. And each level had different types of animes, mangas. It it was really interesting and it was really nice. This was me looking out, waiting for a bit because sometimes I like to just pause and look at all the scenery. Like, I can't believe I'm here. We went to this tiny restaurant um, and we where we got um, some chicken and we were just taking a little nice little lunch break and it was very delicious. Now, let me tell you, we went to this mall and downstairs it was like a basement, I like to call it. It was literally a whole entire floor filled with all types of figurines and plushies and it was honestly where I spent most of my money. But yeah, now after that adventure, we decided that we wanted to do more shopping. This is I think the next day and we did, we did take the bullet train. Let me tell you, this train is super, 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 super fast. My ears were popping the whole time I was in it because you're up high, you're going fast. It almost is identical to being inside of a plane, I like to express. But, I mean, from Tokyo to Kyoto was like two, three hours. It was pretty fast. So we took the bullet train and now we are at Kyoto and we're going to do some traditional stuff today. And we're gonna go to different types of uh, shrines. So yeah, we're excited. I'm excited. Yeah. We're here. Yoto Station activate now. So apart from taking the bullet train and subway, we also took the bus as other form of transportation. It was actually pretty cool. And finally, finally, after walking, we made it to where I like to call it the land of vendors, basically. Like, they have all types of traditional vintage antiques. It was really nice. This is where I recommend you to go if you just want to go to Japan and experience just the traditional food and just basically shop till you drop. Now, we did end up doing a tour of the Ninja Samurai Experience. It was basically an ex a museum where they gave you a tour explaining the world of basically samurais, understanding Kintana and the sword, and basically understanding that Kyoto was a key battleground for Japan samurais. So it was really interesting understanding all of it and just learning more of the culture itself. So. And um, this battle is famous because it's... It was I did take many, many, many pictures of the statues. I was very so much in awe. And towards the end, we actually got to throw a little 
the ninja blade, so that part was very fun. One, go! Okay, look, don't judge. I wasn't great at it, but it was a lot of fun. It was a great experience. After the tour was done, we did like a five minute walk to the next destination where we got to actually dress up in the gear of a samurai. And we took lots of lots and loads of pictures Honestly, I recommend you experiencing this if you ever decide to go to Japan because this honestly was just not only the part of taking a picture and getting the gear on, but it's just understanding the culture and learning more. Like this entire day was just basically and honestly one of my favorite days that I had the whole entire time I was there. So next, we got ready to go to our next destination and that was to visit the iconic Fushimi Irani Shrine known for its thousands of red tourist gates. It's where we got to explore the new castle and it was amazing. We did went to like this bridge Oh, by the way, did you guys know there was a fresco here? Like, I know in Japan we'll have it, but just the fact that fresco was in Japan, I don't know if it was the same thing as it is here in Miami, where cool. it's yeah, like an actual like little supermarket, but I just had to put that in there. As we were walking, I took great, great pictures of basically their neighborhood. And one of my favorite things that I've always wanted to see was the train. You know how many animes I watch? And one of the main things is when they're crossing and they're waiting for the train to pass. So I definitely had to put this in there. This here was just like a dream come true for me, at least. But yeah, these were basically more pictures of the neighborhoods and... It's just everything, everything was just such a breath of air. Like, honestly, it was, I'm still in awe just right now even talking about it. So as we're walking towards the actual shrines, everything was red and green. And I did not expect to walk into this. I honestly did not. I really didn't it was literally like that's when it literally took me to to this day for me to get there for me to actually say wow I am actually here in Japan and I'm actually here surrounded like right here looking around I was just like I am actually in Japan that's when I was actually shook it to my bones because I never thought that I was going to check off one of my most top, top number one bucket list places that I've always wanted to go to in my whole entire life. So, it was just a great experience overall. I can't express how grateful I am to have been able to experience what I experienced and I can't wait until I'm able to go back and experience even way more and now that I kind of understand a little bit more of what to expect I can explore more. Next time I'm in Japan, definitely going to Disney World. That is a must. Hello guys, so right now I'm in Kyoto and I am at the my castle and look how beautiful everything is. The shrines over there to my back. This is a beautiful place. And I can't believe I'm here. Let me show you guys what else there is behind me over here. <laughs> What a beauty. But yeah, just showing you guys. 
Look how beautiful these pink flowers are. I'm a little hey guys. So I am at the Thousand Tory Gates. I am at the Thousand Tory Gates, and I can't believe that I'm here. Everything is so nice. I can't believe I'm here. So so many years of saying I wanted to come here, I'm finally here. Honestly, this is beautiful. It is an amazing experience to take in. Before we decided to go up the stairs and start our next journey of actually going in and exploring more, there was these two cat statues and it was very interesting because later on as you will see all the cats afterwards is that basically they actually keep cats around that will come and they nurture them they provide food for them they give them water they take care of them basically they're kind of like held like at a pedestal how beautiful the sunset was by the way oh it was just amazing but yeah it was really interesting to find out this part that we didn't know till later on while we kept walking and exploring more as we kept just climbing up the stairs basically there was an area where you were able to shop they had like vendors around this is when we were getting ready to actually walk through like this wall like when you're in there when you see it you're like oh it's big and spacious but once you're like inside of it and walking it actually starts to get like smaller and smaller and steeper and steeper and at one point i gotta say i was a little anxious but it was just really nice you're walking you're seeing nothing but trees and greenery but then you're like in just like almost like this cave of like tradition literal tradition like culture itself and you're just like amazed at the same time it's like i don't know how to express it but it's literally one of the best experience i've had had in my whole entire life it was very much like like whoa like that's how i felt whoa like wow so for each time you went through like a different section of the cave i like to call it there will be like little towns like stops that you'll go into where they had like wells and shrines and you got to just see more and more so like the more and more you went into the actual like cave itself the more you got to see more into like the actual higher mountains and the scenery itself will change i didn't go all the way in because honestly my anxiety got the best of me but I was still happy that I was able to experience. So this was my way of walking back to the front. The rest of our friends actually continued going. But as we were heading back, it's like an entire huge gigantic park. I was just like, wait, there's more? Like, it's just like, it's huge. Like, I didn't expect it to be this big. They had like this little area where they had like little water, um, kind of like a lake basically, like a pond, a pond, I will say a pond, I think I'm over exaggerating, honestly no no I'm not, but <laughs> basically yeah, I took many pictures, um, this was me on a bridge, underneath was like water, it was gorgeous, it was beautiful, it was basically like one of the scenes you will see in like a movie, I was just like, wait, people literally just walk in through here. As nighttime fell through, though, um, this was the night picture, what it looked like at night. And it was amazing. 
just as amazing as it is at daytime is even better at nighttime. Oh, and by the way, here are the little, um, the cats images. So for the friends that actually did go in deeper and higher in the mountains, this was what they got to come across. There's literally cats everywhere. It was really nice. Like, I just have no more words, but just, wow. I mean, look at that view. <sighs> but now, heading back home, as you can tell, we're almost there because we'll see the Tokyo oh, wow. Tower. Um, decided to change into something a lot more relaxed. Still wearing a skirt, but it was nice. This was the nightlife. We went to a nice little restaurant. The food was good filled with loads of people but I completely forgot to take some um, snaps of what I ate and the scenery it was basically where I guess where everybody will go once they get off of work because you got to see like a lot of people come in groups from like work itself so it was actually really nice to just see how everyone are like right after work what the life style is like it's normally here when I work come home I just want to chill sleep and then reboot the next day but over there it's like they're actually living life they go after work go out eat drink a little of their favorite I don't know wine juice if I shall say, eat, mingle with their actual co-workers, and then go home and, you know, that's something I'm probably going to start doing, just to just change things around. You know, life is very precious, so we should always live it to its fullest potential. So the next day, um, half of our group went to the Mount Fuji. The pictures were amazing. Like, I can't believe that's a natural mountain and it looks like a portrait, I must say. I actually went on a separate group and we went out shopping. Here is me winning a little prize from Little Machines. They're everywhere. And on the weekends, they actually like to close this down for a couple of hours, which we didn't know because when we first went there, it wasn't like this so when we got to realize we were able to walk from one place to another it was amazing and we took loads of pictures and honestly it was just the best time that we had to go shopping and i must say i had a lot of fun during this trip and i'm glad i get to share this little glimpse with you guys uh thank you guys for watching this video i love you guys so much and until next time this magical unicorn is stepping out bye